All right, today we're gonna go a little bit off niche. Our niche is RV living and traveling and adventuring. Mm -hmm. um, and today we're gonna do a review of a, it's not really a review of a camera. And we don't normally talk bad about products or do reviews on products that we don't like. Yeah. But this is such an expensive product and we Who are you just telling? don't want anyone else to buy something that's just not going to work properly. So if you are a YouTuber, vlogger, videographer, or if you're thinking about getting into it and you're, you're researching cameras, we want to talk about a camera that we bought that just wasn't hitting the mark. Well, so to speak. In only one aspect. Otherwise, yeah. we love every single feature on it. Yeah, and we're That's talking about problem. Yeah, we're talking about the Canon G7X Mark III and um like you said, otherwise it's a great camera. Um it shoots well. It shoots B-roll well. It shoots high frame rate, which is like slow motion. Mm -hmm. Um it has the little pop-up screen so that you can see yourself mm -hmm. and one of the first times ever that Canon has come out with a point-and-shoot camera um, that has an external mic jack yeah. we like the point-and-shoots because you can just put them in your pocket and so you're inside you can shoot without ca carrying this huge SLR so we love mm -hmm. everything about the G7X Mark III and we were assuming that it was gonna be the same level of quality as the Mark II yes it's not in only one aspect but yeah. one of the most important aspects and that's facial recognition and autofocus. Yeah. Man, we, we have just struggled with this thing. Um, we vlog a lot, we shoot our faces mm -hmm. a lot, and it's just very distracting when the camera can't grab a hold of your face. Yeah. It's constantly focusing blur in and out, in and especially out. when there's two of us. Yeah. Because it'll pick up your face and blur mine, or pick up my face yeah. and blur yours. And it's just super frustrating and distracting. Um, it, I we just, did the update. We did the firmware. Uh, we, we looked all online. We, we looked at all the issues that people were having. Uh, the number one recommendation was the firmware update, mm -hmm. which we did. And um, I think it made it a little bit better. Yeah, a little. But just still not, to me, not usable. Yeah. It's a deal breaker. Um, we are already past the point of being able to return the camera because at first it wasn't that bad. No, I really feel like it's gotten worse, worse. Yeah. as we've gone along. And then, um, so we were already past the point of being able to return this camera and it's, it's no over a $700 camera. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, um, we could sell the camera, but then I'm like, well, I cannot in good conscience <laughs> sell this to another person knowing the issues that it has. Yeah. You know, um, unless I just told them the issues that it had and they were still one wanted, wanted yeah. to buy it because they just really wanted this. Like I said, if you're not shooting faces, it's a great camera, camera. Wonderful uh, but camera. for vlogging, not so much. Um, so I did find a website called M MPB, so I'll leave a link in the description, and they rebuy cameras. Now they're only going to give us about half of what we okay. paid for this, but still it's, it's way better, better than, nothing. than nothing. And it is better than selling it to a person who's just gonna get this camera and go, man, Wag sold me a lemon. Uh, it just doesn't work that well. We know other channels who are using the G7X Mark III, they're having the same issues that we're having. Mm -hmm. So we just decided, you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna resell this to, the, to a resale place mm -hmm. and we're gonna get a different camera, which we're shooting on right now. Yes. We got the Sony ZV-1. Uh, it seems to be doing really well on facial recognition, mm -hmm. but Sony is notorious for great yeah. facial recognition yeah. and focus. Uh, autofocus is really fast and um, uh, we could have we could have traded in the the G7X Mark III. Mm -hmm. I looked up at Best Buy and their trade-in value on this thing is $65 <laughs> so I'm like well that's yeah. not happening <laughs> and um, we could keep this around we could keep it around and just wait for like more firmware updates to come out and just hope that it gets better uh, but for me, it's just going to sit in the in the camera bag. It's just going to be extra weight. Extra weight, yeah. It's going to be uh, not utilized, um, and I think the value will even go down, down. the further, the longer, yeah, the longer I hang on to it. So, yeah. uh, so we are going to resell this. Um, we have taken the the G7X Mark III off of our Amazon store, mm -hmm. um, and so we're just not recommending the camera. Um, yeah. 
we added the the Sony uh, ZV-1 to our store so far it is it's good yeah and we have had no issues out of it um, I'm really I'm really disappointed because I thought this was gonna be a great camera yeah especially because the first Canon we have we liked a lot yeah we had the um, the SX 730 HS by Canon and it's a great camera too but yeah it just um, it had a little bit of an issue with like a little like a little black dot <laughs> down here in the corner of the of the frame and it was just bugging me mm -hmm. now I can cut that out in editing yeah but to cut that out every single time now we still use it because it has a great, great lens zoom. so it zooms way in so we yeah. still use that from time to time so I'm keeping that camera and I'm yeah. willing to crop out that little black dot to get the great shots we can get with the Every SX 730HS and we still have that on our store and I'm sure this it's a really great um, camera I just mm. I think maybe a piece of, of, of dirt got in there or something got scratched yeah. I tried cleaning it a lot it just yeah, didn't it didn't work out but um, man we're really disappointed and like I said we don't like doing negative reviews no. on products we usually just ignore it but I don't want anybody out there to buy a 700 plus dollar camera and then go to try to vlog and go oh man we'll blurring in and out <laughs> yeah oh, you can try it uh, Canon was willing to, to take the camera back and look at it and send try to fix it one. yeah send us a new one or try to fix this one send it back to us but the unanimous majority of people who own this camera and everybody who is talking about it on YouTube has the same, same issue it. there are workarounds but they are very lengthy um, they are very um, cumbersome and so basically when you're out shooting you're like in in modes mm -hmm. and stuff then you shoot yourself at a in a vlog and even are, are trying to adjust stuff yeah. as you're I mean, shooting yeah. uh, for autofocus buttons or manual focus buttons and then when you go back to shooting b-roll you're back in menus <laughs> changing stuff back to to settings to, to shoot b-roll yeah. and I just don't want to do it no. I want to turn the thing on I want to shoot what I want to shoot I want to turn the camera around to me I want to be able to talk to it without fuzzing in and out yeah. now the, and we noticed it big time on the videos we do like this yeah where we're just sitting and it's just us talking when we did our thousand trails video we got we got so many comments just about the, the video quality <laughs> as opposed to the content and we want our content to be the focus we don't yeah. want the, um, the the poor quality of our autofocus yeah. to be a topic of discussion <laughs> in our comments we want to be talking about RV stuff we want to be talking about travels we want to be talking about thousand trails yeah we don't want to be talking about our fuzzy faces <laughs> I don't know maybe we look better fuzzy <laughs> so anyway uh, we do not recommend unfortunately the G7X Mark III um, we have only been shooting with the ZV-1 for a few days, so we're not going to make a recommendation on it just yet. We want to yeah. play with all the features. So far, so good. Yeah, so far, so good. Um, but we'll let you know. We'll probably do a review on that later. Like I said, not our niche, but um, I would want to know. When it, It's different when it's something you buy for the RV and it was like under 50 bucks. You're like, yeah, and then you're like, not going to eh. take the time to review that and tell people. Eh. Yeah. But this is hundreds. Of dollars. It's a lot. Yeah. Just want to do a little buyer beware. Yeah. So, um, up to you on which, which camera mm -hmm. you want to use. But I know that there is a ton of people out there who are just hitting the road, just starting RV uh, YouTube channels. And um, we just want to keep you informed and help you out if we can. Yeah. Well, I think that's it on smashing the rant over G7X <laughs> Part 3. Smash it. Sorry, Canon. But um, that's just what it is, man. Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. Well, like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. We appreciate you watching, and we will see you next time. Bye.